Hello everybody, my name is Super welcome back to Let's Play Feed the Beast Unleashed, where we last left off, um, we made nano suit armor, I think, uh, and you might notice we're not in our little cave, a little fun cave of, of maze, a little fun, where the, where the heck are we, let's, let's check our, our thing, we are in the coniferous, snowy coniferous, hold on, probably hard to see, the snowy coniferous, coniferous, <laughs> snowy coniferous forest, um, so this is a completely different biome, and in fact, this is a completely different world, because what happened was, I, so I was opening up my, my, my other world to a server, like I said I was going to do, I had some problems, but I finally got it working, um, didn't work out very well, uh, unfortunately, because it, 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 the server itself takes a lot of CPU power to run from a computer, and then playing Minecraft, on, uh, for Feed the Beast Unleashed, at least on top of that, uh, it, it really, um, the server just wasn't running smoothly enough. Like, like the game was running smoothly, but the, but the tick, the tick rating or tick count, the ticks per second, whatever you want to call it, um, just uh, was was awful. So I, I was I was getting really uh, like um, like you know when you hit tab and you see your name and you see the the amount of bars you have next to you that I think that you're paying. So mine was 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 full full bars, but the server itself was running so slow. Like when I opened chest, I'd wait literally like close to 30 seconds before it actually opened. I'd be, I'd be long walking away, and I'd be over here somewhere, and the chest back there, and it would open, I'm like, what? So anyway, this is a new world. Oh, yeah, the reason I, I opened up a new world, though, because I took off, I took off the world from a server, and, and I could still use that world, but what happened was um, I updated, and for some reason, like, reset a large part of the world. So that entire area that I, that I had um, carved out for my ME system basically came back and my ME system disappeared and so all my stuff was like broken and separate and things were missing and it was terrible and I'm like I am not gonna just dig out this garbage world and redo everything I've just done um because I dig out, I dug out a lot of that cave that I was living in anyway so what happened was I, I just like forget it this is my chance to start a new world anyway because I, the other world the um the biomes of plenty or something was messed up so I wasn't getting really cool biomes and I and, and and I explored a lot, so I didn't want to bother doing that. So I basically came to a new world, and then here we are at my base. I set it up. I set up a bunch of stuff uh, again. Not all of it's obviously set up. But I haven't set up any thermal expansion or anything like that. But I guess today's episode is blah, 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 blah. today's episode is going to be going through um, all the stuff I've done so far. So I, I obviously I just got my enchanting table back with advanced enchantment table. By the way, because I've done so much work in the other world, I was really really sad that I had to go and redo it. Um, like. First of all, putting all these patterns back in. I didn't put all of them back in, but I didn't really... I, just, I dreaded doing this, so I just did it slowly over time. It's been a while since I actually recorded this, and everything you've been seeing so far is just uh, pre-recorded. Um, so I, I actually cheat, did, did a little bit of cheaty stuff, and I, I spawned in... I, I built a lot of stuff. Like, I built this entire ME system and all these machines and everything, but I spawned in, like, the materials. Like, I, I, um, I spawned in my forest stuff. Or at least I spawned in materials to make the forest stuff. And then I, I went mining with that, and uh, I spawned in some things that I obviously couldn't have, like like the uh, spawners. I didn't want to go looking for spawners again. I had I had collected a a huge amount of spawners, um, in the old world, so I didn't want to do that. So the blaze, obviously, I just um, obviously the zombies and the skeleton in the, the skeleton spa spawners actually they come in a uh, there's these thomcraft dungeons. I think they're thomcraft dungeons, and basically they each have like two or three spawners in them, zombies and skeleton ones. So I I went around the world searching for that in in the previous world, and I was not interested in uh, doing that again. So I just spawned those in. And spider ones, I I they're really easy to find. If you find a great wood tree, they're sometimes lurking underneath. Um. So I have the same tools, pretty much. Obviously, something I found out you could do is actually, um, you see, this this pickaxe has both speed five, and same with the same with the um, the fa the force axe and the uh, shovel. So I have repair in all of them, so they don't break. Obviously, the sword has is the wing sword. It has sharpness ten, repair two, looting three, and fire aspect two. Um, you can actually put them in here and do those. So basically you can put five sugar on this to give it speed five, which is basically the equivalent of efficiency five. But then but because it's called speed and not efficiency, you can actually bring it in here and give it efficiency. So I gave it efficiency five and now I have efficiency ten basically on it. Plus I have repair and fortune. Same with um you can't do that with the wing sword though because it's called sharpness as, as a enchantment in the force infuser. So when I put a sharpness ten on it I can't add more sharpness to it in this, which is sad, but it still does a lot of damage. Um Lumberjack axe, obviously the same thing with efficiency five and the speed five and all that goodness. So the things I've done, this right here basically is uh, is a lot to talk about. I might have to make this a two-parter episode because there's so much that I've done. So let's start somewhere where I can. So this is basically the same uh, rancher I was using before to milk the cow, except I have water here because I, I I put a squid in here, 
and I was ranching, and the rancher, what it does is it basically just takes ink sacks from it, so I amassed quite a bit of ink sacks. Uh, yeah, 100, okay, 1,400 1, and something. Oh, while we're here, I guess I can bring this up, Emperor's Chalice. I put a crafting recipe for it, and what it does is basically, let me show you how to make it first of all. Chalice. It's really easy, it's just gas, tears, emeralds, and gold, and what it does is you fill it up with one bucket of water, and you can, if you drink that, oh, whoops! Basically, I just gave you an example of what it does. It's basically an infinite, infinite bucket. It's an, basically an infinite water bucket. Um, so you, you fill it up once, and, and it has water forever. That's what it is. It's pretty cool. I like it. Because it's, it's very, um... What? Where the freak? Where did... Where are the spawn? Where are the, uh, source blocks? I can't even tell where the source blocks are. Oh, God. Stop. There we go. Um, that's sort of absolutely okay. So yeah, so it's basically an infinite, infinite water source unless you drink from it. If you drink from it, then uh, oh, is it infinite? Okay, infinite water bucket unless you drink from it trades life for hunger. I don't know what's this. maybe it's a glitch. Cause I, I'm not eating it. Maybe I'm, I have to be hungry to do it or whatever. But it trades life for hunger. What does that mean? I don't know. Okay. Um. That's just one thing. I, and you notice actually, there's no monsters around. So I'll get into the next thing with this. There's no monsters around, even in the dark areas. Like why not? I actually made something in the old world, and I had to spawn this in because like I didn't, I didn't have any way to make it in this world. It's called a magnum torch. It's pretty expensive. It's not expensive uh, except in the diamonds department. So a magnum torch is made. Um. It's made like this, and it looks pretty complicated. It's not. You just need a, a potion of instant health, two potion of regeneration, two uh, wood, and these five chandeliers. And chandeliers made just like this: torches, gold, and diamonds. So it's, the diamonds are really only, only expensive thing. And what it does is it basically it it, it um, how to explain this? It's really huge, by the way. I mean, look how big that is. It doesn't. It only provides the same amount of light as a normal torch. But what it does is, in a 64 block radius, mobs cannot spawn. And they can't come, and they can't enter that area too as well. So if there's a monster like way out, it can't come into my area, and it can't spawn. So that's fantastic for things like this. When I'm on a small island, I don't want anything on this island, and one of those will keep me safe from everything. Um, right. So that's that. Um, now diamonds. Like, oh man, uh, if there's if there costs so many diamonds, then how are we supposed to um? How are we supposed to get that? I've actually there's actually a way to make diamonds, and in my in Tekkit and stuff like that in previous versions of Feed the Beast, you you uh, the way I make you make you can make diamonds is to make an industrial diamond, but in this game, if you do the same process you did to make an industrial diamond, you make a normal diamond if that makes any sense. So to make a diamond, you can actually uh, um yeah here compre uh, right here. Compressor. You can compress a coal chunk, and to get a coal chunk, you need obsidian and a compressed coal ball. To make the coal ball, you need co a coal ball uh, in the compressor. And then to make a coal ball, you need coal dust with flint. And that's pretty much it. So it sounds complicated, but it actually isn't. So I have a, a pattern in here, actually, to make diamonds. So now I can make diamonds on command as long as I have the coal for it. Um, what else? So that's that, diamonds. This thing right here, the coin of fortune, is very cool. Um, so basically... You can toggle it on and off. If it's off, it won't have that ring around it. And if it's on, it'll have that ring around it. And you'll, it'll make that, that uh, experience grabbing sound. What it does is draws in nearby items and XP. Right click to toggle. So what that means is basically anything that's near you, it'll literally just get sucked into you. Like, for example, this barley seed, I can't throw it away. Because I'm, it's getting sucked to me faster than I can throw it. So if I throw it, it boom, it just comes, if you see that little thing, it's coming directly back to me. Um, however, if I turn it off, I can throw the barley seed. And it's good for like if you're if you're flying over something or like you're on top of a hill and you break something and you and you want to collect what it is before it drops, it'll uh, get sucked to you. So it's pretty cool. Um, it's really it's really useful for when you're building up high and you don't want to drop something. Like you break a block and you don't want to drop it. That's very good for that. It also draws in experience, obviously, like it said. Uh, you've seen the wrenches before. The um, the force armor, I basically put repair on it. I have heat, damage, luck, and wing, obviously, but and speed. But then I went to the uh, the advanced enchantment table, and I added protection 4, respiration 3, aqua affinity, and then just protection 4, protection 4, feather falling, and just protection 4. So I, I, you can actually do both, and you get like ultimate force tools, because you can enchant it, plus use the force infuser. Um, 
let's just sleep so we get a little bit of brightness back. I, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry that, um, yeah, as you can see there, I gave myself a bunch of stuff because I, I was uh, making, I was making, uh, the smeltery because I need to make endstone because I want to do something with endstone that'll be very good for us, actually. But I'm not going to collect gravel and stuff like that and make that stuff all again, so I just gave myself a bunch of stuff. Um, I haven't played this with the world in a while, so there's there's a lot of things that I have to get catch up on. Like, I don't have any way of making, in, in, like, liquid ducts or redstone reception coils. Not reception coils, sorry. Uh, redstone energy conduits and stuff like that. And any of that. Or, like, you know, tesseracts or anything like that. So I have to get going on that. But I, I've been really... I, I didn't want to come back and play because I've been really um, scared. To, or not scared, but just I've been daunting the task of doing everything again. That's the word. Alright, so now you can look at these things. Uh, something else I want to show you. So I have this, obviously this um, laser set up again just to make the to make the, uh, the, the, the the circuits for ME. But you can see here, I'm looking at this piece of dirt. Whoops. And this is ME cable. It doesn't say dirt. And there's like a hole for the ME cable to come through. And the same thing with over here. It says ME cable, not dirt. Um, similarly, over here, it's saying ME cable and not dirt. And there's no grass growing over it. And what this is, is basically it's a... Um, it's actually just a, um, what's it called? What's it called? It's called a facade. So if we say dirt facade, um, here, facade, dirt. And the facades, basically, you can actually place them over blocks to hide certain things, like example, ME cables. Now, you can't use this over, uh, over um, these redstone energy conduits, and you can't use them over the, in the glass fiber cables, which is sad. But they're very good for hiding things, example, right here. So I don't have to, if I break this, I'll break that by accident, but that's fine. I break it, and, and look, I put this back down, and I can't, I can't hide this. It just looks ugly. But if I put this over it, just bang, and whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Unfortunately, when you break these, you have to break everything, like including the block that it's on. Example, that's a good way to use the uh, coin of fortune, so that I didn't have to walk down there and grab it. Because they just could suck to me. The wire, I mean. So you um, can just hide it with this. Unfortunately, there's no grass facades. I tried to look, but I, I, I didn't. There wasn't none. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Crap. Okay, I'll fix that later. But you understand what I'm trying to get at here. You can hide things. And this, and this can be done with most blocks, honestly. If you look up facade, they're a facade for, like, almost every block. That's actually kind of ridiculous. There's three pages of this stuff. Right, um, so that's facades, uh, oh, 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 now how was I getting the squid in here? That's a good question, like, you can't just spawn a squid in here, that's cheating, and I, I, was, do I was doing cheating, but I wasn't going to do that much cheating, because I couldn't have done that at any time in, in normal Feed the Beast. So I used something called the Gravity Gun, and it's a very, very cool item. The Gravity Gun works kind of, what was that noise? Jeez, okay. So to make the Gravity Gun... There's two versions. There's a supercharged and there's the charged. Uh, the normal, sorry. Supercharged is basically if you're holding it, you get hit by lightning. Um, and to make this, you need diamond, uh, ender pearl, glowstone, iron ingot, and obsidian. So not too expensive to make. And what it does is basically is if you right click. Ooh, you hear that noise? It's cool. Like getting ready. If you hold right click on a block or something, you can actually pick up the block. And then you obviously you can put it down with right click again. But if you don't fancy that, you can grab a block that you don't want anywhere, like that, and you can just left-click repeatedly and shoot it really far away. It's really cool, and it makes a really cool sound effect, too. Just bang, 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 bang. That one was not very... That was lackluster. Hold on, let me grab a better one. Very... Oh, you can see an island over there, too. We'll be tackling that soon. Yeah, you can shoot very far, but another thing you can do this is actually pick up, pick up mobs. So any kind of mobs. So I can actually grab this. And I have to be very careful not to leave the get the squid out of water for too long, or it'll die. So I have to like run back quickly, and it's not too hard with my force armor. And I can just drop it in there, carefully, carefully, just bang, and and then all of a sudden I am getting insects. Hold on, let me see if I can uh, show you. Is it gonna pop up in here? I'm fairly certain that the, the squid has to be on this side of it. It can't be over here. So that's why this thing isn't always grabbing a ink sacks. But it's very it's very cool nonetheless. So that's that. Um, now I've done that, done that, done that. Um, what else haven't I done? We know the all the power converter stuff. Uh, ooh, these things right here. You probably don't know what the hell this is. Ultimate hybrid solar panel. Actually, before we do that, before we do that, sorry. This thing right here, the mass fabricator. Now what this does is you give it a 
crap ton of power, and it works very slowly, and the more power you give it, the faster it works. I haven't been giving it too much power, um, because I, I, I've just been collecting it to my normal system that is powering everything else. But what this does is it creates something called UU Matter. And I have I have a ton of UU Matter because I would let this thing go for hours upon hours. And so this is UU Matter here. I actually don't have that much because I've been building things with it. And UU Matter can be used to make a crap ton of things. You can use it to make... Um, let's, well, let's see. You can put something in there. You can get stone. Uh, you can put it in different places to get different things. You can use it to put there to get oak wood. Um, you can put like two down. And you'll get grass blocks. You can use it to make a, a ridiculous amount of things. You can get water with it. You can, you can do so many things. But the, the main thing I'm using it for is to make something called iridium. And to do that, you uh, put it in an eye pattern. And you get iridium ore. And that's good because I, and I also need UU matter to make a lot of things. So that's the UU matter, and you can use a bunch of things with it. You can make like gunpowder, even to make a C pattern. You make gunpowder, but the point of it is because I'm making these ultimate hybrid solar panels, and so there are very many, very many. There's tons of solar panels added on that are more powerful than they just. Like I've used the high voltage before. There's many more, very more powerful ones. So you you can make the high the high voltage solar array, sure. But then you can go on to make the advanced solar panel, the hybrid solar panel, and the ultimate hybrid solar panel, and the advanced solar panel. Um, is made like this. You need you need the solar panel. You need irradiant glass pane, which is used by making reinforced glass, which is glass with advanced alloy. Um, and you need the glowstone, obviously. And you need something called irradiant uranium. And to do that, you need glowstone and refined uranium. And refined uranium is just uranium ore put into a compressor, I think. And then you need something called irradiant reinforced plates. And to do this, you need this, and you need this something called scenarium part. And to this, make the scenario, you need UU matter, so that's one use for it. Uh, you also need to make the reinforced iridium iron plate, and to make that, you need iridium iron plate plus advanced alloy and carbon plate. And this is very confusing, I know. I'm just showing you this for future reference. You're probably going to have to look it up again just to, to remember it and do it. And this took me a long time to actually put into uh, the ME system as auto crafting. And to make the iridium iron plate, you need one iridium ingot. And one in refined in eight refined iron. And to make the iridium ingot, you just need to compress the iridium ore you get from the UU matter. And that's to make the advanced solar panel. But to make the hybrid solar panel, you can either use the ultimate hybrid and you need eight. But never mind that. You need lapis uh, iridium plate, which is this diamond advanced alloy and iridium ore. Um, or you could again you need the advanced solar panel. That's why you need to make this one first. And then you need this enrich enriched scenario. And that requires a scenarium part with irradiant uranium, which I showed you how to make. Um, I wish there was a way to go back in, in the crafting recipe so I don't have to keep clicking on this thing. And then scenarium part is is a UU matter and glow. So another, another use for that. And now to make the ultimate hybrid solar panel, you can either use eight hybrids or one advanced. And I went with a one advanced because it's a little bit cheaper because each hybrid requires an advanced. So it's cheaper to do it this way, in my opinion. But then you need the cold chunk, which I showed you how to make for the uh, diamond. And then you need en enriched scenarium alloy. To make that, you need the enriched scenarium, which is a uh, scenarium with the irradiant, irradiant uranium. And then you also need a uh, scenarium alloy. And to make that, you need iridium plates with scenarium. And to make the iridium plates, obviously I showed you. So it's a very, very complex system. Obviously, if I had to make this by hand, I'd probably rip my hair out and probably be also in in institutionalized myself. But with with ME, it's actually just it, the only hard part is putting the recipes in and making sure you do everything correctly, and then boom, you make it. Wait, wait a little bit of time, um, and boom. I also have, yeah, I have a a lot bigger um, of these MACs, the molecular assembly chamber. I actually have a huge one that goes all the way underneath here, I think. Yeah, it, it's really big. I made it much bigger than the one I had at my old base because I had the space for it. Um, so that's. This. Oh, and the good thing about this, right, so the advanced solar panel is just whatever. The hybrid solar panel is good because it generates 34, uh, sorry, 64 EU per tick during the day, but it also generates during the nighttime. It uses moonlight or something, and it generates 8 EU per tick, unlike the solar panels over here where it just generates during the day. And so the high voltage generates 512 EU per tick, but that's only during the day. Now, the good thing about this ultimate solar panel, it generates 512 per tick during the day, but it also generates 64 EU per tick during the night. And not only that, it also has its own internal storage of 10. So it's basically like an MFSU and a high and a high voltage solar array plus it can generate during the night. 
So it'll say max output is 512, obviously, generating 512, and during the nighttime, it'll generate um, 64. And the advanced solar panel, I, I don't think it generates during the night. I think it just generates a lot more during the day, but not 512. It's, it's not really worth using the advanced solar panel. Just go to the hybrid or the ultimate hybrid. So I've been using a bunch of those, like a large amount. So eight, that's highly expensive, but because I, I've also had that mass fabricator. Oh, right, this area here is actually for... Um, it's for the scrap boxes. I don't know if you remember back in Tech It when we were making um when we were making a bunch of scrap scrap boxes, I was turning all that crap crap. I was turning all that S crap into scrap boxes. And the reason I was doing that was you I was actually gonna make this fat mass fabricator and to to make it faster, like you can actually um like it says can produce seven Yeah. So if you put the scrap box as fuel, apparently you can use it as fuel. But I'm talking about and if you right-click on the scrap box, you'll get a random item. Um, but if you put it in the mass fabricator, you'll actually amplify the amounts, uh, the the speed of which you get EU matter. And this is amplifier forty-five thousand, but it required sixteen thousand, one hundred sixty-six thousand six hundred sixty-seven EU. So you can use it to to make it to make the the EU matter faster. Uh, but it's not necessary because this thing is already producing pretty fast. Like it looks pretty slow, but that's actually really fast compared to how it was in Tekken. I never showed you because I never completed that. But if I had, this would be a lot slower. So it's actually generating pretty fast. Like it's about it's pretty much one UU matter per minute or less than a minute even. Um, so it's nighttime. So now I want to show you this thing right here uh, because there's no sun in the sky. It's generating 64 UU per tick instead of 512, as you can see. So that's pretty good. Um, why is my nano suit armor in here? That's I was trying it was charging it up. I don't know what it's doing in there. All right. Um. So that's that. Anything else I want to show you? The smeltery I wanted to get going. I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to show you as of now. Obviously, these one of these these bee thing highs over here. I was I actually collect I went around collecting a huge amount of bees like. Two, di two diamond chests full of bees. And I was going to start getting into the bee breeding, and I'm like, this is kind of complicated, and I don't... Hey, bud, you can't come in here, can you? Because of my, uh... Maybe you can come in here, but you just can't spawn within my range of my, uh... Magnum Torch. That's fine. I'll kill you. It actually does a very large amount of damage. Um... I, I'm assuming... That, I think that's all I wanted to show you, pretty much. Oh, one thing else I wanted to show you is, um... I don't, I don't know if I showed you this. Oh, I think I did. Uh, the, um, berry. The, the, the consecrated ore berry, when you right-click on it, you actually get levels. So I've been actually growing a bunch of those. And they have to grow in the dark. So I actually have them, uh, underneath here. They're somewhere here. Yeah, here they are. I'm just growing a bunch of them. Oops, I'm jumping way too high. Come on. It's actually really hard to work like this. Stop it. There we go. Um, right, so that's pretty much all I wanted to show you, I think. I think. If anything comes up, I'll, I'll explain it as we go along. But the reason I put the smeltery up here was because... Oh, yeah, the smeltery. I actually put something called sear glass here so we can actually see what's going on on the inside. Um, it's pretty cool. The sear glass is, is really easy to make. It's just glass and... Uh, and the seared bricks, so not too complicated. I was just making this smeltery so I could uh, get some end stone because I'm not going to the end. Obviously, I can't find the area. Um, right. I hate the snow in this area, but I'm not gonna change areas just yet until I have myself um, something something rather important. I don't know why I'm doing this. Oh, hold up! Why are snowballs stacking? in bigger stacks than than 16. That's weird. That doesn't happen, does it? Weird. That's really weird. And obviously um I don't know for some reason after a while when I log off, um my squid dies. But whatever. So that's pretty much all I want to show you for today, I guess. That's pretty much everything I've done. Um I also set up patterns for the quantum armor. But the quantum armor is so freaking ridiculously, um, not even the quantum armor, but the, uh, the gravity chest plate. But I'll explain that later on, um, what that is. So, if you guys, this is obviously, uh, the reason things are getting sucked to me. Obviously because of the coin of fortune. 
It's very useful, actually, Coin of Fortune. Right, so I think that's all I wanted to show you for today. So if you guys enjoyed, if you like, comment, and subscribe. And I know this is a pretty intensive episode. Next episode, we're actually going to do something uh, beneficial to us. So I'll see you guys then. Yeah, maybe. All right, whatever. Yeah, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And goodbye.